We are at IIM Sambalpur, a prestigious institute which is continuously expanding its horizons. The institute strives to instill a holistic mindset for sustainable and socially inclusive growth for its students. As the institute embarks on a journey to develop business leaders, let us take you all along this exciting journey. Navsarjanam Suchita Sama Veshtwam means the new creation with purity and inclusiveness. The essence that captures the inclusiveness par excellence in nurturing responsible leaders of modern society with an entrepreneurial mindset. A place known for entrepreneurial innovation and experimental learning. IIM Sambalpur focuses to explore unconventional areas through an entrepreneurial and novel approach. Eyeing global competitiveness, the premier institute takes up the challenge through its action-centric research, value-based consulting and experimental learning through their magnificently designed management, education and research programs. IIM Sambalpur is contributing to the growth journey of Indian entrepreneurial ecosystem which is already making waves globally. I am your host Prachi Rastogi and today we are joined by Professor Mahadeo Jaiswal, the founding director of Indian Institute of Management, Sambalpur. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. The first question to you is, IIM Sambalpur is among the next generation IIMs, one of the leading institutes for knowledge and entrepreneurial experimentation. How has been your journey as a founding director? IIM Sambalpur is part of the leading business school in the country, is part of IIM family. It was set up by Government of India in 2015. I joined as a director in 2017. The first most important job was to create the vision of the institute. And we created the vision to nurture a responsible leaders with entrepreneurial mindset. And then our next job was to provide the best quality educations, as you said that innovative. So we introduced the best infrastructure in terms of classroom, digital smart classroom, because it was remotely located. The project was quite challenging, but very interesting and very creative job because we took it uh, in terms of a challenge. And then next job was to find out the best resource in terms of intellectual resource. So we brought the best faculties from various parts of the country. They had the best qualifications in research. And our focus ever since inception has been to provide entrepreneurial innovation. And we wanted that our students and faculty and also entire community should work together to create entrepreneurial capacity for the country, which can create wealth for the nation to solve socioeconomic development challenges of the country. We created a very inclusive admission policy, and in 2019, I am Sambalpur became the first in the country with the highest gender diversity among all the B schools. We had 50% female and 50% male in our class. Ever since, it has impacted every B school in the country, and everywhere now you can see very high gender ratio. In a short span, the Institute has made a remarkable presence. What are the initiatives you have taken to carve out a niche for yourself? As you rightly asked this question that, what is the niche? The niche was our learning pedagogy. We wanted that our learning pedagogy should be very experiential. So we wanted our classrooms should not just be teaching, but it should be a center of excellence in learning. And therefore, we created a experiential learning methodology where in a digital classroom and blended classroom, students, faculty and industry work together and also international faculty can teach from anywhere. The second aspect was in terms of our uh, infrastructure for the resources, intellectual resources, we brought all the best intellectual resources, libraries from Harvard and other big schools and which can be accessed by our students as well as our faculty. And at the same time, we started all other activities, for example, Executive MBA, PhD, Executive PhD, Management Development Program, Research, Consulting, everything what is required for the top B school, we started in a very early stage. In fact, in 2017 onwards, every year we created one programs. And by 2022, we have everything which is required for top B schools in the country. So it is often said that the next decade will belong to India. So how is the Institute 
contributing towards the Industrial Revolution 4.0? Industrial Revolution started in 18th century and that time the technology behind Industrial Revolution 1 was your uh, steam engine. And the epicenter of the entire revolution was United Kingdom. However, India was one of the richest countries in the world. Our GDP that time as per the history, it is more than 20% of the world's share. And it was having most of the industry which was household. Every village was a source of production in India. Handloom, handicrafts, agriculture, in every segment you can see that India was leading and that's why you have best textile of the world used produced in India. However, we did not get any advantage of the industry revolutions 1.0 because we were not free at that time. The second industrial revolution took place in 19th century and that time many part of the Europe and USA were free country. And they benefited and the technology behind the second industrial revolution was electric engine and automobiles and whole world except India and China got benefited. Then comes the third industry revolution 3.0. That is the time, it is in 20th century, India was a free country. And you can see that the technology behind the third industry revolution is information technology, computers. And India benefited, India's GDP started growing. In 1990 we opened up the economy and large number of Indian multinationals got created in IT sectors and telecom sectors. And now we are talking about Industrial Revolution 4.0. The technology behind Industrial Revolution 4.0 is digital. And India is epicenter because of two reasons. Major, majority of industries are in India in terms of digital. Majority of institutions like IITs and IIMs are the best in the world are in India. And one of the most effective and strong governance in India under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Modi. And all three factors are making India to be the strongest country in the world. And I am Sambalpur has also taken uh, the lead in terms of taking advantage of digital. We are the first institute to introduce a digital smart classroom. Our entire uh, process of recruitment, admissions, and educations is all around blended. We make use of all kinds of technologies, learning management systems, a smart classroom, entire communications, everything is blended here and we are the pioneer in terms of providing the best technology enabled educations in the country. The institute has signed an MOU with Flipkart. How is this promoting the local entrepreneurship and what is your vision behind this initiative? The vision behind is part of our core values is we operate around three I's, innovation, integrity and inclusiveness. And as part of our innovation and inclusion is agenda, we have taken the project to digitalize our weavers and handicraft sector, which lives in the small village. And Sambalpuri weaving industries are world class. We have taken this project to digitize the entire weaving industries to begin with from Sambalpur and then to roll out to entire country. And as part of that, we sign MOU with Flipkart so that they can be boarded, onboarded on digital platforms to onboard their products in the digital market. In the same time, we are also providing managerial and entrepreneurial education to the master weavers of these regions to begin with in the support of SIDBI. We have another MOE with SIDBI. And then we are also creating incubation centers where we are planning to in create more than 30 to 40,000 startups at one location on the digital platforms to promote these entrepreneurs at the grassroots level. This is the first of its kind in the country. And the project which we are going to roll out in the con entire country, which is called, the project name is given, bunkarvalleys.com. It will cover the entire Odisha, it will cover West Bengal, and it will also cover part of UP Banaras. The priority for us is to develop the local entrepreneurs, and for that we are encouraging uh, the local artists. To begin with, we are, uh, you know, incubating the Western Odisha artisans, uh, they are Sambalpuri weaves and then we are planning to form a company of artisans from different clusters pan India. So the students today are looking for a differentiating factor while opting for an MBA program. So how does this overall curriculum of IIM Sambalpur succeed in achieving that? They look for three or four factors. The first more important thing is what are the learning pedagogy inside the classroom? We have the flip classroom, which is the most innovative pedagogy with blended methods. Second thing, they look for the placement. How is the ROI for their investment? 
Ever since your first batch passed out, we were having 100% placement. And every year we have created a record in terms of highest salary, average salary. Every year we're increasing more than 20% of our average and also the highest salary. Third thing is in terms of access to the knowledge, in terms of classroom. We have one of the best source of faculty and intellectual resource. And the fourth thing is in terms of infrastructure. Even in temporary campus, we provided the best quality infrastructure in the classroom as well as in the hostels. It was all access to the building. And now we are shifting to our permanent campus, which has anyway all the kind of facilities uh, which is required for any top B school in the world. We have state-of-the-art classrooms that are fully technologically advanced and along with that, the pedagogical model followed here is a flipped classroom approach. So we get a lot to learn from our faculties. Alongside that, our campus has all the world-class amenities along with sports facilities, gymnasium and a fully operational complex. So as we all know that the institute is also the first to implement the idea of a flipped classroom. So how far this innovative concept benefits the students as stakeholders? Yeah, so the concept of flipped classroom is that the project which used to be done at home or outside the class, we have taken that in the class. So when the students come as part of the flipped classroom, they have to come with a live project sponsored by the industries and faculty and students together and along with the industry partners, we try to solve that and create new cases. So we say that the three things are required in order to have effective learning. The first thing is collaborations. You collaborate with industries and faculty and also with our society. The second thing is differentiations. How do you differentiate? So differentiation is in terms of pedagogy that we do experiential learning. We apply the theory into the practice. And third is innovations, the outcome. So what we create is a case. Rather than teaching case, we create case in the class. Flipped classroom is basically a kind of you know, learning capability enhancement tool which moving from the uh, traditional concept of memorizing or understanding the theory in the classroom to it moves towards uh, creating the knowledge in the classroom uh, setup. So uh, talking about the International Immersion Program, which was started with an objective to provide cross-culture and global exposure, how does it help with the overall development of students? And also tell us more about your international collaborations. Currently we have signed uh, MOU with more than 20 top B schools of the world in different parts of the world. Many of them are in European countries. One of the reasons behind collaboration is that we have two kind of activities. One is exchange program. Our students and their students come and go. Our faculty also goes and teach. Their faculty come and teach here. We do joint research. Apart from uh, our immersion, we are going to have now this year onwards a joint degree programs or double degree programs where the student will have option to get two degrees at the same time. One from I am Sambalpur MBA and another MBA from one of the European business schools, particularly the French business schools. Idea is that you will have access, the student will have access to not only degrees, but also the culture and methods and also the market. And they will be tuned to work anywhere in the world in line with the vision of our prime minister that India should take lead in every aspect. We are working the same line. And I'm sure this collaboration is going to provide highly globalized educations while, work, while studying at I'm Sambalpur. We have uh, uh, participated or registered with two global accreditations. One is ACSB and one is VGA and another one is uh, UNPRME. So we'll also probably in a couple of years from now, we'll be participating in EQUIS. So that's kind of a triple crown, which typically business schools look, look for. And regarding domestic uh, rankings, we'll be uh, incorporating a few more, two or three more in our portfolio and we'll be catching up very soon with the second generation IIMs. That's the plan. We are going to have um, dual degree program. So that means we have already signed the MOU with the foreign universities. So some students may take not only the MBA from IIM Sambalpur degree, but at the same time they can get the degree of another uh, renowned um, foreign university same time. So the institute is planning for a joint research activity and faculty exchange program. How far this initiative will help in the growth journey? 
Yeah, so, you know, when we talk about collaborations, uh, collaborations uh, with industries, collaboration with government, and collaboration with international academics. It is also part of our mission. We want our faculty and students should not only be uh, confined to the classroom, they should go around the society, try to solve their problems. Many hospitals, many schools of the government may require some managerial talent. We would like our students and faculty to take those projects and solve with the collaborations, and let's see that they, those become effective. Apart from this, there are a lot of local industries, as we, have doing, we are doing for the weaving industries. We can also do it for agriculture. We can also do for social projects and solve those problems and make them global. So this is the kind of collaboration with the industry and society. Same time, the collaboration with the international universities will help us to enhance our research because Indian institutes were actually lacking in terms of research. And that's where these schools, these institutes were not ranked in the top 100 and top 50 in the global ranking. However, now with this kind of high quality research happening in India, we can be now compared with the top B school of the world. And that is how these international collaborations are going to help Indian schools and particularly Indian, I'm Sambalpur, which is taking pioneering lead in terms of international collaborations, in terms of research publications, in terms of quality of educations, in terms of quality of managerial educations, entrepreneurial educations, and also take advantage that India is now the world's third largest ecosystem of startups. Whatever research we do at Sambalpur, whether it's faculty or the students, it is actually encompassed around three Ds, uh, that is decarbonization, digitization, and democratization. Research is a very strong pillar for I am Sambalpur, and uh, we are focusing on converting whatever we uh, research as a faculty to, uh, to the classroom teaching as well. Research is a very long journey, and it requires constant focus. For this, at I am Sambalpur, our faculty has been constantly been in touch with us, guiding and mentoring us, and bring about a kind of intervention that's required whenever we are stuck. Our fellow scholars are always there with us to engage and have that conversations in between. That always brings about an idea that helps in our research journey. With this, let's take a short break. We'll be back with GM Online Presents Incredible Brands. We're back from the break. Welcome again, sir. Thank you. So the overwhelming response from the recruiters over the years is tremendous and it's growing year on year. What is your overall view on the placements this year and what is so special about it? Uh, the I am Sambalpur placement for our uh, MBA 2021-23 current batch has been outstanding because uh, most of the girls got highest salaries, including two girls secured more than 64 lakh per annum and that too from domestic company from the domestic uh, sector and one from domestic one from international the average salary has also gone more than 27 percent rise and ever since from the first base we have been getting 100 percent placement about 160 170 students we got about 123 top companies from various part of the world came physically on the campus for the recruitment this year and that is what i would say is outstanding response and reasons, I think, is mainly because the quality of students and diversity of students, particularly female students, as well as the pedagogy, as well as our collaboration with our domestic industry, international industries, and international universities, and also innovative pedagogies, and culture of research, innovations. I think that has helped us. But we are also now looking for more entrepreneurs to be created at our institute, not only the job seekers, but job creators, and that is what is the future for our requirements. Since inception, I am, um, Sambalpur has achieved 100% placement. Talking about the crisis time like 2020, where the entire world was facing economic crisis, in those economic crises, I am Sambalpur was able to achieve 100% placement for their students. I am Sambalpur focuses on is entrepreneurship because we are living in the era of entrepreneurship. So apart from encouraging and preparing students for you know, performing in industry, we want them to be the job creator in the world. While the campus at IIM Sambalpur is almost complete, can you tell us the distinctive features of this campus? Permanent campus, which is newly built at IIM Sambalpur, is world class. It is based on our three eyes again, that is 
innovation, integrity, inclusiveness. In Hindi, we call Nav Sajanam, Suchita Samavestam. In line with that three eyes, you, we call it say, handcrafted I am, where handicrafts and handlooms of the local regions, art and culture, is very well depicted in entire buildings in all across the campus. And it is a green buildings. We would like to encourage only uh, solar, solar and uh, renewable energy consumptions. At the same time, we have planned for the entire plantations in, in the entire campus. And also the foundation stone of this building, this campus, was laid down by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji two years back. And we have completed as per our schedule. And we are hoping this campus will not only be world class in terms of physical infrastructure, but also it will be one of the best in terms of intellectual infrastructure. And at the same time, it will also be one of the best in terms of emotional in infrastructure. Inclusiveness is uh, one of the core values of I am Sambalpur and we uh, follow the same when it comes to admissions as well. So we have a special the drive for gender and experienced candidates. As far as gender is concerned, we already have more than 50% of female the candidates in our classroom. Uh, this year we have seen that there are many uh, candidates from the other gender who are also interested to be a part of I am Sabalpur. As far as experience is concerned, we have seen that people with varied experience, they are interested in I am Sambalpur. Uh, some of them uh, from uh, finance background uh, to some people who are uh, scientists in the ISRO having 15-16 years of uh, work ex, uh, they have also shown interest uh, in the I am Sambalpur's uh, two-year MBA program. Innovation, integrity and inclusiveness is what lies at the core of I am Sambalpur. Strengthening the entrepreneurial capacity of the country, this institute is contributing to an idea of a new India. With value-based learning system at this institute, it's enhancing the versatility of its students. On that note, we're signing off. This was your host, Prachi Rastogi. <laughs>